This is Twit. There may be people out there, uh, Liam, who, who don't know what Sen is uh, and, and, you know, how that story took place. Uh, and there is a difference. I, I, I am one of those whose heart was broken when the HDF cameras uh, went offline and we have these these other ones here. And you can tell and now, and I don't know if it's too much of a spoiler, uh, the difference between watching a, a spacecraft arrive or leave the station through the send cameras versus the that one that's still working on the space station that stretches out the vehicles and makes them look like a, like a, uh, like cartoons of them. When you say but, that one that, that stretches out, you mean the NASA camera? The NASA camera, yeah, right, the old right. older one yeah. uh, that is clearly all grainy for what we're all using. So, so explain what Sen is. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you 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 found obviously uh, like minds uh, to to make this happen, and it wasn't like you you snapped your fingers and you got cameras on the International Space Station overnight. So what what is Sen? What's the goal? to, uh, I guess, evolve that, that view from space, you know, passion that you have. Yeah, so, so Sen at its heart is uh, a company that's set out to stream uh, live views of the earth and of other locations from space and make them available free to the public. Uh, and I, I've got to credit uh, Charles Black, the CEO, for coming up with that idea when you know he was just uh, just in the early days of of his uh, journey through college, where he he just had the the vision that that's what he wanted to leave as a legacy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should point out, we should point out just sorry to interrupt, but if for people yeah. that are watching the stream, we've got views of a, a Starliner undocking. Yes, that was Starliner. Absolutely this isn't live. From the, it was spectacular. <laughs> this is yeah. not live. Starliner hasn't returned. It, it was, it was, it's it just, just so that people understand that level of resolution is mm. like sci-fi movie level so okay okay so anyway, it, you know let's that. let's go let's go back to that moment I'll, I'll fill in the blanks in a little bit but uh yeah so here you're seeing that view of starliner as it's undocking and the incredible part of the send story is that is that we only started live streaming 30 minutes before that happened I know. Oh. So it was, <laughs> and we shared the link to people that we know uh at uh, johnson space center in the flight control room uh we actually shared it with the lead flight director uh ed van Seis, um and uh, also uh chris hadfield who's a, an advisor and uh astronaut ambassador with us shared it with other people um at the the flight control uh system there so they were watching our feed right as this was happening and it was a truly iconic moment and uh, we just it, it, just amazing that it the the stars aligned almost because mm -hmm. Um, that camera system launched March of last year, um, uh, really about this time. Wow. And it wasn't installed until the end of August. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then just a, a short while after is when Starliner undocked and you got that view. Um, so So the camera system that's on the space station is not the first camera that we've had in space. In fact, mm -hmm. we've been on two prior systems, and this is what got my attention. Remember when we were all crying ourselves to sleep, Tarek, when the uh, HDEV died? It was yeah. July, um, uh, July like 29th or something was when it was uh, in 2019. I was at the ISS R&D conference uh, giving another presentation there about uh, my <laughs> ideas for <laughs> replacing the cameras. Um, so that died but earlier on that year may 2019 i discovered that there was this company called sen who launched their own um hosted payload of a set of six cameras on um a satellite called arabsat a i think it is yeah. it was actually built by uh russian energia and uh charles's 
pathway to sort of get this here culminated in that moment where uh, he'd uh, managed to get this six camera system on that uh, on that uh, uh, satellite and then it was really used its primary purpose was to capture spacecraft operations like solar panels opening and things like that but he designed it in such a way the engineers designed it that it would be able to live stream for the very first time 4K Earth views, wow. and that happened in May of 2019. So uh, that's when, uh, shortly after that, that's where I reached out to Charles and we got talking about, uh, you know, all of the further ideas that were going on um, to get eventually. I was the guy that was just outside of all of this and selfishly wanted <laughs> for the benefit of you. <laughs> and others that we would have that capability on the space station. Um, and the result is, yes, we've got that. But between then and now, uh, SEN also uh, have their own satellite called ETVA1, Earth TV. Mm -hmm. um, that was built by a third party, and we uh, integrated our camera system onto that. That was launched in uh, January of 2022. Uh, been up there ever since, and that was really another test case. So all of those were about uh, testing our completely <clears throat> custom design sensors, lens, uh, all of the processing power, all of that is under our control. And that's now uh, what is uh, what is on the space station. Um, now you may wonder, how on earth, you know, we're a commercial company. Yeah. How do we get how do you, there? How do you how do you make money how doing do you make that, money? Liam? That's if right. you're if you're providing live views of Earth for free. So. <laughs> yeah. So it's for free, as you'll expect, with a catch. <laughs> the catch is that uh, yeah, it's on platforms where there will be advertising. Mm -hmm. um, so consequently, uh, you know, like right now, if you were to go to YouTube, um, you would see ads coming in every now and again, unless you have YouTube premium. So if ever there was a reason to get YouTube premium, this <laughs> is the reason to get it. <laughs> so excuse me, if I'm on YouTube, what am I looking up? Yeah, so uh, the Sen channel is just called Sen. So if you just go to youtube.com slash at Sen, uh, or even just send, it will take you to the YouTube channel. And then uh, there's only one live stream on there. You will see hundreds of clips. Um, the so the best place to see clips is actually on send.com. We curate them there. Um, the other way that, uh, yes, there are opportunities for us to return investor value is uh, that uh, uh, Folks can purchase the clips. So although it's free for private use, it's not uh, it's not available for people to download the clips and use them themselves without coming to us for a proper license. So, you know, as you'd expect for any um, organization that is involved in media, uh, they sort of work work with that. So you can get the clips in various different ways. Um, and the other the other part of this is that. Uh, think of us as the go-to location for live views of the Earth in this case, but we have plans for other destinations too. Um, but really, wherever people want to be included in the space race, we want to be the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, so rather than as, a, um, as an afterthought, sort of like, you know, there can be operational reasons to have um, uh, to have cameras on spacecraft. Uh, we, and by the way, the live feed right now is just about to be um, sunrise. <laughs> no. So if there, if there was any way to bring it up, sunrise is happening at this very second. Uh, there you go. Oh, I know it's wow. right at the corner. For, for, and for you people, see the yes. other bit that's lighting up there? <laughs> Sorry to the people listening to audio stream, but this yeah, so, is sensational. Yeah, so the we're sun seeing... is rising in the lower right corner. There is a dragon spacecraft on the left docked to the station, mm -hmm. slowly being revealed in the, from the blackness of space. Tarek, you should have been Absolutely. on radio. You <laughs> are space TV director, Tarek. That is exactly what... Well, or, or at least play-by-play. It's